Eleanor McGovern campaigned for her husband at El Centro College in downtown Dallas at noon today to an overflow crowd of several thousand students gathered in the lobby. She talked mostly about her family and about opportunities such as El Centro College. The audience was mostly McGovern supporters, except for a few who argued from the floor about Vietnam. One detractor asked, if we pull out, as her husband says, won't there be a bloodbath as there was when the French left? But if any leaders are endangered uh, when we leave oh, Vietnam... Well, I have not seen that. That did not happen in 1954, but anyone who feels his life is in jeopardy, my, uh, my husband has suggested that we and other nations offer sanctuary uh, to them. But I, I wanted to elaborate on this. Uh, there are so many diverse political groups in Indochina, so many uh, tribal groups who have had long animosities against each other, so many religious groups who, uh, who don't get, that don't get along. So they really have to work this thing out for themselves. It's very complex, and we cannot impose a settlement upon them. And I, I think that we are avoid, avoiding the day when they can find their own way by continuing a military presence in South Vietnam. <laughs> Ms. McGovern, are you tired? Well, it's early in the day, you know, but it's been a long campaign. I'm, uh, I've been campaigning for 11 months, so it's, uh, I'll, I'll be glad to know November 7th arrives. And so After the rally, Mrs. McGovern went to another room for a news conference. Again, McGovern family matters were more the topic than current national issues. Channel 8's Jack Hill asked if she's upset by uncomplimentary remarks about her husband. It is terribly difficult. Uh, I don't cry the first time I did, 19 years ago, when he first entered uh, political life and things were said about him that weren't true, but it's, it's not easy. But you do grow a little thick skin. I guess you just get angry. 